Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about drag and drop coding. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do you think that the UI part of an application can be abstracted to the point where it's a simple drag and drop experience, whereas the business logic is the only thing that requires coding? Well, I will give you the same answer that I'll probably give on all of these like low code solutions and whatever we might have uh, in some cases but the norm is always going to be no. The reason why I don't think that it's ever going to be the norm is because it's practically impossible to make a sustainable solution that that works so well that the UI or the business logic is never intertwined in any way. You see, that's the mistake in thinking here, where, sure, if I create a business model that is so simple or so whatever, right, that it can all be expressed through a standard set of components, which is, if we're all honest here, the dream. It would be the dream of every single web developer, not the front-end developers, because they're going to be out of a job very quickly if that happens. But if we could express everything with, a, with just the HTML standard, because that's like the goal of the whole thing, right? It would be so nice, because then you don't have to have custom components that you have to build and so forth. You can just have select boxes and radio groups and input fields and forms like they like it, it was all meant to be that way the reason why i don't think that's ever going to happen is because if dreamweaver couldn't make it work like almost t 10 or 20 years ago now at the very least maybe even longer it's never going to happen it's never ever 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 going to happen and it's never going to happen because of one very minor 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 detail that will always create problems and that is the need for branding yes you see whenever you want to create something it doesn't matter what it is a that has a user experience or any type of experience whatsoever you have to account for if this experience is going to be a custom experience or if it's going to be a standard thing and as I was saying if you are really really lucky and you're making something fairly straightforward and simple and your business logic does actually reflect the simplicity of the whole thing you might be able to do this you might just I mean that if you look at how we use UI frameworks today that is in essence what you're doing like you can use a framework such as bootstrap or foundation or whatever right when you don't have any customization requirements but the second you do well you can of course extend that thing but th then all of a sudden the drag and drop solution doesn't work anymore and this is exactly why Dreamweaver will never become the choice the <laughs> the first and primary choice for how to build a UI experience because simply put it does not possess the capacity to express all the complications that might happen as part of your business logic and the the sad fact is that even if you were to create such a solution the odds are that you will I mean because we have them today we technically if you as I was saying if your business model supports it you can practically drag and drop together an entire system today without much of a fuss really the thing that I believe on the other hand is that it's usually just a matter of time before a business requirement changes so that there's only you have to have some way of expressing that new form element or some experience on the UI level which just doesn't fit into the thing that you have and this is why you have developers for serious projects because you want to be able to make the thing that you actually want to make either for your users or for whatever right and you can't trust that some off-the-shelf solution is going to have that specific component or that is specific experience that you're going for right and this is why I believe that you will never be able to fully do this to a point absolutely if you look at systems such as WordPress and so forth there are already many many low code solutions or configuration solutions or model based coding styles and so forth that can do a lot of the boilerplate stuff 
but that's not the stuff that's being and that's happening at the highest level I can give you what I truly believe is the best thing however and it's worked really 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 well for the use case that I've used it for and that is to decide on a UI framework and then express that UI framework through it doesn't have to be a drag and, dro a drag and drop solution it can be a configuration based thing as well we built that at uh, one of the products that I was working at and it worked absolutely amazingly I think our productivity numbers like across the board or rather this was just the time to market we were measuring we didn't actually even account for how much time the designers were saving well and at the same kind of time we didn't really account for how unhappy they were with that we put restrictions on their genius ideas uh, but we I think we improved our time to market by around 600 percent at the least at least roughly it went we went from shipping a UI experience in could have been, it could have been like let, let's just say the story time was measured in at least two I could say a week to a month in between there ish and we got that down to shipping that thing in uh, I think 20 minutes something like that that's how radical the difference was and the only thing we did was to basically do what the UI like UI frameworks are doing but we did it for our company so that it made sense for our business model so we created UI components that were completely standard and we decided okay this is what we're using now this is it designer if you don't produce an artboard that looks like this thing that's on you that's your problem this is the thing we're using and we're always going to use this thing it's going to work this way in no, way, in, in, no way, in, in no other way we can change it and if you want to change it you put in a specific request for changing this you are no longer allowed to just shim in your own little improvements here and there in our stories and make a bunch of deviations happen that's not long, no longer okay because when we did that we didn't we didn't actually build it up until the point where you could drag and drop the thing but it's practically the same thing because what we then did was to do the Kubernetes thing basically you create a specification base that's all you do or a Terraform specification whichever it doesn't really matter right you are expressing the UI that you want through code you're not writing the code you're simply creating a config file that states all right I want the components these components they should be in these sections they should have this and that layout it's just a big it's basically just a configuration file and then you pipe that into our very tiny little well, in this case it was react a react engine and all it really does is that it takes this configuration and maps out and actually builds up the entire UI and as you can imagine if you can express and which is usually the case you can express Express most of our business logic through these standardized components and when we have a custom thing we create that custom thing so that we can use it again so we only invest ever so slightly a little bit of time to making that specific component that is for that specific case and then the rest is completely boilerplate and that's why we could ship things like in a fraction of the time where it's it was ludicrous how quickly we could ship so what I want you to take away from this is that I don't think you will ever see drag and drop UI systems or anything like that ever get to a point where it becomes the norm they do already exist today but they are gonna stay if you ask me at the very least at this level because fundamentally what you what you're always facing when you start a website or you work for a company or whatever is the branding thing every company wants their own thing and every company's business model is different in some way and that means that if you have a custom requirement you have to build that thing because there's no one who's going to be able to create a completely standardized solution that works a hundred percent of the time and in some cases they want so much customizations that that it's practically it's kind of weird to even use a framework that is already existing because it's so different that you're not really going to gain much it used to be the case that people just used bootstrap as default because they wanted the grid system but with flexbox and css grid that's pretty much I mean it's it's kind of wasteful really especially if you're not going to leverage any of the other stuff that it's doing if you are going to use that go ahead and then override and do your own customizations on top because that's going to save you time but I don't think you will ever unless you really have a simple model for your business logic 
you're never going to get to the point where you can just create a drag and drop solution for your UIs. So you're always going to have a certain level of customization if you can afford it, which is usually the case when you're doing large scale systems. So have a great day.